This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review heard of the Crude Life Media Network. On today's episode, we talk with Dan Hedrington with SEH. He gives us an update on the Davis Refinery coming to Belfield, North Dakota. But first, I want to take a quick second to remind you folks about the Bakken Barbecue, the sixth annual Bakken Barbecue coming to Dickinson, North Dakota, June 15th at the West River Ice Center. Mark your calendars right now because the sixth annual Bakken Barbecue is happening June 15th in Dickinson, North Dakota. And once again, my name is Jason Spies. This is the Mondak Oil Field Review. And up next is Dan Hedrington with SEH talking about the Davis Refinery coming to Belfield, North Dakota. And all the responses, you know, to the North Dakota Department of Health. You got the air quality done last month. And so is the department done on their end or are we still anticipating some stuff there? Like I said, I think you guys are on your end. So do you, do you know the update there? Yeah, a quick version is that, yes, we com- we completely are, are done on, on our end for the engineering team. Um, we responded to all of the comments that were received by the North Dakota Department of Health Air Quality Division in you know, we went through the each you know each of those questions thoroughly and made sure that that we had the appropriate information that was being sought out. So people were asking questions and and you know some people were just making general statements, but we tried to respond to those as well to the best of our abilities. So yes, Meridian and Energy team is all done on our end of it for our responses to the comments that were received. The department is still working on on their end of it. I mean, it's, and it's understandable, and we appreciate the amount of work that they're doing on this thing. They are going through this thing with a fine-tooth comb. They are really making sure that everything's um, tied down very, very tightly and, 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 and well understood. Um, they've got a team of engineers and scientists that have been going through this thing with a fine-tooth comb, and they're doing a great job of it. Now, they're not quite done with it yet. I don't know exactly when that's going to be, but we know that it's going, it's, it's moving along, you know, as expected, I guess would be a good way to put it. Um, so we haven't, you know, heard of anything that uh, that's a, a you know a major concern or an issue that needs to be dealt with or anything like that and we're just confident that they're doing a they're doing a heck of a job and they're going through it this is a, this is a big deal you might remember we got you know we received nearly 11,000 comments this isn't something that you know any any one group can go through in a day or two it's, it's a it's a lengthy process and everybody wants to make sure it's done thorough and in a thorough manner and, and done you know really well so things are coming along um as expected, you know, would we like to have it? Of course we'd like to have it, but we also understand the amount of work is, that goes into it because we had to do the same. Once again, that was Dan Hedrington with SEH with the Davis Refinery. To listen to the full-length interview or to follow other energy series, visit our website, thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. The Mondak Oil Field Review is part of the Crude Life Content Network. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. All those social media links can be found at thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. From the staff at the Bondack Oil Field Review, my name is Jason Spies asking you to be happy, be safe, and keep it turning to the right. <laughs>